can very well understand a lot of people want to go into the area to experience this fascinating nature. Coming into the ice is so special. You have polar bears, walrus, whales, so close. It's just another world. Polar regions attract many people, with tourism in the region over the last 20 years experiencing unrivaled growth and an accompanying rise in demand for expedition tourism and more specialized, unique experiences in these areas. But conditions in polar regions are changing rapidly and they are hardest hit by climate change. Melting sea ice creates an opening for larger passenger vessels to more frequently visit these areas. So finding good ways to protect the fragile polar regions and the people moving through them is essential. The concern is, of course, all these people going into the very remote areas. If you come with a cruise vessel from the Gulf of Mexico going into the ice close to, <laughs> to Greenland, that's a totally different uh, game. There is an over-reliance on the ice class, the ice strengthening of the vessels. Because the ice strengthening is not designed for the ice conditions you very often meet in, in the polar region. Most ice strengthened vessels are designed to go in one year ice, which is soft ice. If you hit the multi year ice, it's like hitting a rock. In response, Miko Marine has developed the highly specialized Miko Polar Kit, capable of quickly and effectively sealing a hull puncture from the outside in freezing waters without the use of divers. Supplied in a weatherproof case with all the tools necessary for sealing hull damages down to two meters below the waterline. The kit is a combination of Miko Marine's magnetic patch and a Kevlar reinforced PVC matting. This system enables the user to locate the damaged area, apply the plaster on different curvatures and secure it using powerful underwater magnets. It's the best system I have seen for, for this purpose, definitely you can handle a lot of minor damages, which is the, the typical damage you can have in the ice because it could be a very small hole in the hull and, and that's enough. I have seen how easy it was to operate it and I, I was very enthusiastic about the idea because it was so obvious that such a device is needed. Cluster kits should be on all vessels going into the ice especially for the passenger vessels, but as well for the tankers. With 24 years of experience and a commitment to protecting the environment, Miko Marine is creating innovative solutions to help take care of our common future.